Welcome back to Star Wars. I'm here with Kalaf and we're back to uh, questing. Hello, Kalaf. Heya, how's it going? Pretty good. Uh, I thought I'd update uh, our audience here. Uh, we had Kadamimu in between, so we probably uh, lost our way a little bit in terms of uh, where we are on the quest storyline. So. On the planetary quest, the last thing we did was infiltrate the Killick Caves. And you'll remember that there was a, this balmy girl inside who was mental and we left... Did we leave her to it in the end? We, we let her keep her... Uh, pass. I think we I, th I, th I think, yeah. I think we, I think we left her to Yeah. Which is fine, that's kind of cool. Um, so... That's what happened last time, and this time round, uh, we're heading into House Olgo. They've got um, a beradium bomb or beradium detonator or something that we've got to arm to blow up House Olgo. This is a mission from House Thul. And it was yeah, it's a mission from House Thul. I think it's. it's the mission's called Preemptive Strike because House Olgo, Olgo, <laughs> Olgo, can't even talk today. They were, they had a, an operation that they were going to attack us. Um, what was it you just called it a second ago? House Thul is ours. No, no, the operation. Kadamimi? No, 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 no. It's Operation Sun Shower, but you. You called it something else. Oh, Operation Golden Shower, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's find out where this... I think we may have gone past the entrance, Cal. Oh. Um, oh, and you ran off to kill some killicks. It's alright. Oh yeah, we've gone yeah, a little too far. I think the door is supposed to be up here, but how to get up here, I don't know. Oh, I uh, know, actually, I think we're supposed to start at the top one. Right. Last time I tried. Yeah, there's this, another road going up. When I was leveling my original character, I went round the back, uh, but quite far round the back, and what ended up happening is I ended up in a level uh, 40 area and got absolutely annihilated. Lot. Which might happen again, to be honest. Uh, is it through here, or...? I think it is. It's worth Could having a be. look. This is one of the mo more annoyingly complicated, trying to find your way in. Oh, there's another route over there. Hmm, maybe you're right, maybe... No, I know it, yeah. Because you can see the bridge was supposed to take across. Yeah, I think we've got to start in the north. It's over here. No, no, no. It's it's not start in the north. It's start on this ramp and work our way across. Oh, yeah. Oh, buff up. Oh, yeah. Uh, where's that good marker power? There it is. I don't think these uh, guys are going to uh, worry us even in the slightest. Uh, no. We owned Kadamimu. We did, well, apart from the last boss that bugged out, but yeah. Yeah, but that wasn't our fault. Yeah, I maintain that too. You kill them pretty quick, actually. Yeah, oh, we got some good DPS going on. Well, you do. I'm a, a barely getting a chance to cast anything by the time, because mine's class is more about laying down some dots at the moment when I'm doing damage. But by the time I've got my dots up, your straight up damage has already killed them. 
Oh yeah, I'm all about the initial impact. Yeah. I could slow down if you like. No, it's perfectly fine. I'm happy. Keep the pace. Alright, keep the pace up. In fact, I'm going to take out that group. You can take out the one on the side. Well, that was a little Okey bit wrong, though. I'll give myself a little bit of healing. There we go. There we go. A bit slower than that you. That seems to oh, wait. What was that about? <laughs> What's what about? <laughs> my, my companion, for some reason, I was trying to grab the slicing box and he just like reached over to grab it and then said, no, fuck it, I don't want it. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> He's getting a bit big for his boots now, isn't he? I know, well that's Andronicus. Maybe I should switch back to Kem Val, he wasn't so rude. Maybe, it'll give us a tank, but... <laughs> I don't know. Andronicus is alright, he's a funny guy. He does a lot of uh, damage, actually. Um, Guess I'll heal my own companion out. Yeah, that's a good idea. I think it's over here, actually, Cal. Instead of killing every little thing that gets in our way, let's see if we can cut across this a little bit. So we were just discussing before recording about... Um, the free-to-play changes that Fireware look as if they're going to be um, doing. It's interesting. I, the first thing that they've already outright confirmed is that at some point in the near future this game will be free to play up to level 15. So I heartily recommend that you do exactly that. The, uh, the game for leveling up is great and We've always enjoyed leveling up in in Star Wars. End game, absolutely. Not, you know, not so much, but leveling, brilliant. Absolutely. Well, they also suggested that they've uh, looked into the possibility of maybe making the game itself on the free-to-play model, similar to other MMO. Oh, yeah. And again, that would be a good change, even for us. Um, This way, isn't it? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you're right. Because we, we've both been concerned that we're not playing the game that much, mostly just for recording. And um, we've been concerned about, you know, paying out a subscription, which we've been doing. Even though all we do is play maybe once a month. I oh, know, we're not exactly getting value for money at the moment. But, uh, I don't know, I mean, it's fun doing the co-op and the video plays. But as you say, it is a costly exercise. And if you play more often, I guess it's cool. Uh, but yeah, if it goes free to play, then I'll definitely continue questing and levelling up characters. And I mess around with more um, Republic side stuff as well, I think. Because I've heard that some of those storylines are actually really good. Well, I've taken the smuggler plot to about level 20. Um, so just past the Coruscant stuff. And I quite like him. He's quite a funny character. Um, it's comedy plot there going on a bit. Um, I suppose, what would you call it? The Han Solo alter ego. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, that's the one I was most wanting to check out. Everyone's been recommending that. The trooper's a bit yes sir, no sir, three bags full sir. Right. But I guess that's, you know, very similar when I played my bounty hunter. I found that 
it was very formulaic. You know, you're given a target at the beginning of a planet, and by the end of the planet, after some investigation, you'd kill the target. And it was just that repeats over and over. Yep. Yeah, that that was definitely the case. The the Jedi have a um, bit more interesting and intriguing, um, but there's a certain flower power hippiness to it. No I don't want to offend any hippies out there, but uh, well, to be fair, isn't that Jedi all over anyway? Even in the films and whatnot. Oh God, yeah, peace is a lie. Oh, hang on, no, that's the Sith one. <laughs> Yeah, well done. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't make a very good Jedi, man. No. Don't ask me the Jedi code either, to be fair. I used to know it, but for some reason it escapes me at this moment. Uh, yeah, Jedi code, um... um I don't know. Uh, you know, I remember more of the Sith code about there. There is no peace, there is only passion, or there's no passion, or something like that. That's because the Sith code actually makes sense. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. That's because we embrace our dark side, I guess. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, why wouldn't you? All that power and all those women. I mean, Jedi can't have women. That's a serious drawback to wanting to become a Jedi. What you mean? I never get laid. Ever. I exactly. I think that's what would prevent me from uh, becoming a Jedi. I mean, can you really blame Anakin for going over to the dark side? No, cause, I mean, like, she, he was uh, chasing after quite a hottie. Yeah, she wasn't bad. Not my cup of tea, but whatever floats your boat. Isn't it Liv Tyler or something? Nah, she floats my boat. <laughs> I wish she'd float my boat anyway. Uh, no, it was, uh, what's her name? Natalie Portman, that's right. Oh, that was it, yeah. It's actually a pretty good actress as well. I've seen her in some other stuff. We didn't really need to uh, kill this guy, but... Oh, looks like we've bag rode over there. Um, any chance of a heal? Yeah. Yay, Let's thank you. you need it. What was in that chest? Because I never got any... Oh. Credits. Uh, credits. An enviro acclimatizer. Normally in chests you get like a, a green or something. Yeah, it was a bit odd. Nice. Oh, what was that firing at you? Oh, it was him as he was dying. Okay. Yep, got that. Yeah, just working our way through to this. Mobs are very easy, but then we are... I mean, it is really designed along the idea of doing this yourself. That is true. So we sort of got double power. And the fact we're really good at computer games, you know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> well, you're really good at computer games, I do alright. Oh, don't say that. Uh, there are plenty of examples. I'm noobing up on camera. Yeah, true. Although the Kadamimu, I mean, I died, what, three times? All from falling off? Is that guy dead standing up? Look at this. Yep. Do you reckon... Give him a... Let's see if we can make him fall over. No? Well... Well, it kind of worked. Me <laughs> despawned. <laughs> oh, crap. Right 
Well, these old go commandos on. No, they don't do that much damage. They're a bit annoying because, you know, if I see a circle on the ground, I kind of want to dodge out of it, but at the same time, I want to finish off my cast because I know it doesn't hurt that much, and I'm always like I'm and ahhing over which choice to go go for. I mean, part of me wants to show, you know, that standing in fire is bad. Especially as, you know, been a raid leader for years. That he yeah, ain't telling me to get out of the fire. Yeah, the instinct is immediately, you know, is like, don't stand in the fire. What are you doing in the fire? Don't stand in it. But then, yeah, when we get encounters like this, where it doesn't even hurt to stand in the fire, it's... I'm torn. A bit like that Natalie oh, um, Grey song. Oh god. <laughs> I could slice my wrist to songs like that. Let's see if we can avoid some some of this extra combat here. There we go. I'm in the fortress. Oh, there's a thing to click there. Nice. Nice, so just a bonus. I wish they'd have given us that bonus when we were outside, you know, and already defeating Olgo forces. Yeah, it would have made life easier, but are we going to have to kill that many before we get there? Hmm. We can make sure we kill that many, I guess. I've gone quiet because I'm trying not to sneeze. <laughs> Try harder. I know. That's it. I think it's gone there. Sneeze. Sneeze through your nose. See how that feels. Isn't that how you normally sneeze? How else do you sneeze if not through your nose? Through my mouth. Oh, okay. You know that. Ha choo. I forgot about my mouth. Why do you? I was thinking you were referring to trying to sneeze elsewhere. It just didn't make any sense. Why would I? Well, sneezing out the nose is a messy thing. Don't run away! Okay, we need one more Olgo force. Do you reckon that droid counts? Fine, then. <laughs> I'll give you a bit of a healing on this one, he's uh, only elite. Nah, don't bother. I'll use a cooldown this time. Oh, there we go. All sorted. Yeah, that did it. And now all we have to do is arm um, the detonator and seal ourselves in the safe room. Which I believe is downstairs. And in here? Wait for me! Don't close it without me! <laughs> Every Sith for himself. <laughs> there you go. Closing the blast doors. Got 30 seconds, apparently. So Actually, I'm going to stand in here and see what, yeah, see what it looks like, I guess. We've got 20 seconds. The, the, room, the room's not sealed, fella. I did press the button. Oh, we both have to press the button. Oh, quick. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> that could have been a bit nasty, couldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just a turn. Okay, brilliant. Um, I think this is a good time to call this episode, actually. So uh, on the next episode, join us and we'll be uh, handing this quest in because... I believe we've also got a hand in our class quests as well from last time we were here. So we can do them both at the same time and start our new mission. So join us then.